Today, I have the privilege to be sitting with Mel Sampat. Now, Mel, explain to me what you do here at Microsoft. So, I'm a program manager. First of all, hi, Laura. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, big fan of yours. Great, thanks. This is good. So uh, I'm a program manager in the developer experience group for Windows Mobile. So uh, our mandate is to make uh, the jobs of developers easier uh, when they're writing applications for Windows Mobile devices. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's basically it. Okay. Now we're here to talk about the integration between Vista and Windows Mobile. So show us what you've got going on here on the big screen. So let me give you a little background here first. Um, uh, most of you who've seen screenshots of Vista running are familiar with this uh, this little thing we have on the side called a sidebar, mm -hmm. uh, which has a lot of funky little gadgets uh, um, like the weather and you know it's, it's got these gadgets to show the stocks and your you know there's hundreds of gadgets out there right there's tons of gadgets you can you can download from Windows Live um, so so what I've done is um, um, you know find you know we're kind of working on a prototype to enable these gadgets to work on Windows mobile devices as well so what you see here on my screen on my pocket PC screen is uh, an application that's hosting a few of these gadgets the Xbox Live gamer tag the traffic and the battery um, if I, um, so you've taken the gadgets basically from your desktop, from running Vista, and now they're running on your Windows Mobile 6 phone? Yes. So uh, let me show you how easy it is to, first of all, add a gadget to your Windows Vista desktop. So I've got this, uh, this folder here called Gadgets. Excuse me. Um, right here, this one. And it's got a few of these gadgets I downloaded from, uh, from Windows Live um, Gadget Gallery. Um, so here's one called Xbox 360 Gadget. I'm going to Yay! This and <laughs> click install. And it's already in the sidebar, so I'm going to say replace. And it shows my humble Xbox. Oh, what's Live. your gamer score? What's your... <laughs> it's under 200, <laughs> which, which shows that I work really hard and I have a day job. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, um, so, and, and this, uh, this basically refreshes itself every half hour. So if I just go and play some Gears of War uh, and I earn some gamer, uh, some, uh, some points there, it's going to uh, you know, refresh that in just a little bit. So wouldn't it be cool if I could run this on my um, Windows Mobile device and even better on the Windows Mobile home screen? So the home screen part is something we're working on uh, currently, but um, here's my Windows Mobile device. And what I've done is open up a file explorer window into my device. I'm going to go under this folder called Gadgets, and I'm basically going to drag and drop that Xbox gadget from my desktop to my device. So see how simple it is. I didn't have to do any conversions myself. I just had to drag and drop you that. You just drag and drop it, and then it appears right there on your phone? Right, so I just need to restart that application, hit refresh, and it shows me one more gadget here. That's the Xbox Live Gamer tag, and I click there. It shows my. There you go. Um, we're still working on some of the kinks. It has to be centered. It has to look pretty, just like the Windows sidebar. But uh, you know, at this point, it's just a proof of concept, which really shows that we can take gadgets and um, and run them and host them. That's right. super simple, and that you're saying that's going to make life of programmers easier, right? Yeah. So, so currently, uh, if you wanted to write uh, gadgets uh, or, as we call them, plugins for the Windows Mobile home screen that you see here. The home screen shows you a few of these uh, uh, plugins that come by default: the owner information, the the, the, the mobile care operator, the you know um, device lock status. So we want people to be able to customize their home screen and add many more things to their home screen, like the weather or their friend status, their location information. Currently, it's very hard to do that because um, you have to write code in C++ or mm -hmm. uh, some of these languages, which you know debugging can be very hard. You, there's a steep learning curve. Um, so if we if we allowed gadgets to run here, uh, very similar to how the iPhone works, uh, that would make um, it very much easier because gadgets have a much simpler programming model right. that can be created using tools like Expression or even Notepad for that matter. They don't require debugging or compiling. They can simply be created, zipped up, and then run on any. And now you were saying earlier that that was sort of the inspiration for this, right? They're like, you got you got nothing on us type of thing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, you know, screenshots of the iPhone and, right. you know, the it's fact that machine. It's, it's, it's a very uh, cool looking device. And the fact that they can run uh, gadgets from, from the Mac OS or what is the... Uh, sure. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, That's how Microsoft you are. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know what the operating system they use. Yeah. 
Um, so, th so this really just you know uh, enables the uh, the ability to run Windows Vista gadgets, and then we take this a little bit further, enable them to work on the home screen, and then you know make uh, make this avail you know with a few tweaks here and there. Yeah. Desktop developers can take their gadgets and make them run on the um, on the Windows Mobile device. So let me quickly show you yeah. a few more of these uh, gadgets. I'm just going to drag and drop all of these, and put you them. You can on do all at once, huh? Yeah, just they're just files. So I'm just going to drag and drop any one any of those that are missing. Takes a few seconds, and here, mm -hmm. here's the, uh, here's the ones that we didn't see earlier. And that's all refreshing in real time, right? Yeah. So again, they they, they don't look um, as pretty as you would you would hope, but they will. They will. Something we we want to invest in. Here's the Seattle traffic. Here's your digital clock. Mm -hmm. um, what did I just missing? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's all, all right. right. Very good. And now, as we said, this is just a prototype. You guys are still working on it, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's it doesn't even have a name yet. It doesn't have a name. It's not really, you know, in, in any of the productization stages. It's just right. something we're investigating and see if, you know, this makes sense for our customers, for developers, and if, if, we, have, if we can come up with a right. great distribution model. Well, I appreciate you letting us take a peek at it in its, you know, early stages and, and letting the audience know that good stuff is coming your way from Mel Sampat. Great. And, <laughs> and you know, it's because we're you know we care a lot about integration. You know, we are always looking for ways to integrate Windows Mobile, with Windows Vista, yeah. or you know, like Live.com, or you know, as Derek mentioned earlier, uh, our devices, the Windows Mobile Six devices, come with a lot of live services. Yes, and, um, I was fascinated. That was intrigued. Know, so, so internally, we're always looking for ways to to make our products talk, talk to each other. We've been pretty good at that in the past with a server and enterprise tools. This is an example of how you can take a consumer technology yeah. and bring it down to your mobile device. Great. Thank you very much. Good stuff.